Living the dream in Lotus Land. From real estate to fashion to food to coveted careers, we've got a full plate today on the Express. On today's show, the Sierra Sill Giants report. Brendan Gallagher's World Juniors win. Oh my God. Dream Homes, what you can get for a mere $12.8 million. I don't think I've ever seen a backyard quite like this. Just trying to find something that looks good, that's also affordable. West Coast style, how to take your wardrobe from drab to darling. Let me give you a little nerd okay. tour, if nerd you will. Tour. Rare investments, the good life. What puts a smile on the face of comedian Patrick Maliha? The only two things in this world allow. See that and more local expression. Welcome to the Express, only on Shaw TV. I'm Joe Hanaward at the River Rock Theater in Richmond for the 2012 Chinese Restaurant Awards. Today, a whopping 47 awards will be handed out. That's some serious bragging rights. We're also talking about a big win at the World Juniors. Up first on the show with today's Sierra Sill Giants Report. The Giants Report is presented by Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14. Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14. Health you can feel. Watching Brendan Gallagher play at the World Junior Hockey Championships, you'd never guess he didn't even make the team last year. Something I had to learn from and something I obviously used in my training and motivation for this year. He earned his way onto the team and he played well throughout the tournament. The Giants forward who picked up six points in the tournament says he's happy with his performance. And with all of Canada watching, Gallagher says he didn't let the pressure of playing on the national stage get to him. The pressure is something you want as an athlete. And, uh, it's something that I was really excited for. Obviously the fans are very passionate about it. I thought I brought energy to the team. He really keeps a level head. He doesn't change whether he's uh, in the national spotlight or whether he's playing here in Vancouver. Gallagher played consistently throughout all of the games of the World Juniors, and despite not scoring any goals, he was named Canadian Player of the Game in the win over the U.S. You know, he just loves to play and he loves to compete. And Hayes should know, he coached Gallagher at the Juniors and he's been his coach for the past four years here in Vancouver. Wouldn't want to go through that with any other coach. The defining half hour of the World Juniors came during the game against Russia, which ultimately cost the Canadians a chance at the gold, the only medal the team was after. We lost one game in the whole tournament. It was very disappointing. It was uh, a lot of emotions went through us and it was hard to deal with, but at the same time, it's special every time you get to put on that Canada crest. Came away with the bronze. You know, it's not the goal, but we're very happy with it. Now that Gallagher and Hay are back on the ice with the Giants, both say they're looking ahead. Hay says he's happy coaching the Giants, but he won't rule out a return to the NHL. You know, to have the opportunity to go back to the NHL is something I'd definitely look at. And Gallagher, who was drafted by the Montreal Canadiens, is happy he has an international tournament under his belt. I'm going to use this tournament as a growing experience, and when I go into Montreal, I'll know how to handle the pressure a little bit more. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Delta for the Express. The Giants Report was presented by Sierra Sil Joint Formula 14. Health you can feel. Because the eyes of the entire world are on them and the expectations, an ex-juniors coach recently said that there's more pressure on the players at the World Juniors than the pros at the Stanley Cup. Well, and talking pressure, later on today's Express, we're going to be hanging with comedian Patrick Maliha with our Rare Investments The Good Life series. We're going to find out how he handles the pressure of making it as an entertainer. Here's a little hint. His nickname is Patty Fatty. So right now, wait till you see this. We are touring a multi-million dollar dream home in Burnaby. Just 30 minutes from downtown Vancouver, the city of Burnaby's got it all. Stylish condominiums, endless retail options, and simply spectacular green spaces. Call it heaven for homebodies. And when your home is a multi-million dollar estate, why would you ever want to leave? Dallas, Tim, how you doing? Great, good to see you. Good to see you too. Now this is a pretty unbelievable estate. It really is. It's 14,000 square foot. And back in 1996, this cost the owner $16 million to design and construct. You're gonna love it. Can't wait to see it. It's opulent. This is an absolutely beautiful home. We've got seven fireplaces. 
We have gold leaf inlaid on the handles. We have a mural that was painted by Dana Irving. And we have miles of oak. It was all hand carved. This house truly is completely furnished with the finest materials available. Starting with the living room, where a marble fireplace welcomes you home. It's accented by silk curtains and pillowy soft wool carpets that lead to the exquisite library. It's completely round. It's all solid mahogany. A room like this is very difficult to find, I tell you. A room perfect for those lazy Sundays when you just want to relax with a good book and a gorgeous view of the pool deck. But when you do want to entertain... Nice shot. So this is uh, the ultimate man's room. It really is. Man cave consists of professional billiards room. It's all oak. And all of the walls are all padded. So it really is the classic billiards experience. Don't play pool? Well, how about some high-speed racket sport? This place has its very own squash court with roughly 500 square feet of hardwood flooring and 15-foot ceilings. Space for squash, basketball, or whatever keeps you active. From pleasure to business. As we all know, Tim, if you want to live a luxurious lifestyle like this, you have to work extremely hard. This executive, beautiful office is completely covered in oak. We have a one-piece oak fireplace with hand-carved lions done by an artist in England. As you can see, we've got lots of space. So if you want to have all the directors in for a private meeting, what perfect place to do it. It's like having your own little oval office. It really is. Inside the spacious master suite is yet another fireplace and an elegant glass chandelier. Equally as impressive is the master bathroom, which is more like a luxury spa. There's a jacuzzi, multi-shower enclosure, colorful stained glass windows, and all the hardware is decorated with gold leaf and nothing less. But the best part of this estate isn't indoors. It's out here on the half acre pool deck and yard. Dallas, I don't think I've ever seen a backyard quite like this. Not many people have, Tim. The property itself is over 1.36 acres. So tons of room for entertaining. Whether it's taking a dip in the lavish pool and cozy hot tub, or playing a doubles match on your very own tennis court, this yard is fit for royalty. The final price tag for all of this a cool $12.8 million. It's all lit up at nighttime. It's absolutely beautiful. And because of the size, you could easily entertain hundreds of guests in complete and total style. We have exquisite craftsmanship and attention to detail that's second to none. This home is definitely an oasis away from the hustle and bustle of the big city. I'm Tim Chung and join me next time on Dream Homes, where unimaginable luxury comes to life. As Tim said, if you have an extra $12.8 million kicking around, that dream home could be yours. You're watching The Express and coming up, we're going to find out what it is that wedding bell Sarah loves almost as much as her husband. And have some fun with these stories. West Coast style, simple ways to spruce up your style. If you don't feel like you're great at dressing, we will pull some things for you and we'll get your look defined. Let me give you a little nerd okay. tour, if New you will. Tour. Rare investments, the good life. Funny man Maliha's comic capers. You're watching local TV on The Express. That's right. <laughs> Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward. I'm an island girl, but Vancouver's definitely home. I think home is where your happy place is. That's what I love about The Express. We meet people who are passionate about what they do. And we're not pretending to be something we're not. We're just celebrating who we really are. Welcome to The Express. I'm Johanna Ward. Today's show is all about you.